Your girlfriend keeps stealing all the covers at night. Well, here's how you're gonna get them back. Step one, you're gonna take your girlfriend to the slaughterhouse. Cause you've just bought two sirloin steaks for dinner and you need to pick them up ASAP. Dinner's on me tonight, bud. Step two, you arrive at the slaughterhouse, say hi to the butcher, ask to have a look around back, and accidentally lock yourself and your girlfriend inside the giant meat freezer. You then open your backpack, pull out a big double duvet bed cover, and tell your girlfriend it looks like you have no choice but to try and survive the night, okay? Step three, you and your girlfriend snuggle up in the duvet bed covers, and just as she drifts off into a peaceful slumber, you spin yourself 360 like a fork in a bowl of spaghetti, and tear the covers from your girlfriend so she freezes in the dark of night. Your girlfriend begs you to return the covers. Do you see how it feels now, girlfriend? Do you see how it feels to be left frozen in the dark of night? This is how it feels. Boom! And then your girlfriend simply promises to never steal the covers again. You two shake hands, wait for the butcher to come and free you from the giant meat freezer, and go home with a smile on your face. I understood the assignment. I understood the assignment. I understood the assignment. I'll blow up into smithereens and spew my tiny symphony all up and down a city street while trying to put my mind at ease. Like finishing this melody, this feels like a necessity. So this could be the death of me, or maybe just a better me. Now come in with the symphonies and take a shot at Hennessy. I know I'm not there mentally, but you could be the remedy, so let me play my violin for you. You lied to me. You deceived me. You tried to deceive me. I'm tired of listening to you. You gave me your heart, you know. You'd like me to hand it back whole again, but I won't. You will live a long time yet, Catherine, an eternity without me. You will look into the faces of passers-by, hoping for something that will, for an instant, bring me back to you. You will find moonlit nights strangely empty, because when you call my name through them, there will be no answer. Always your heart will be aching for me, and your mind will give you the doubtful consolation that you did a brave thing. You dare to talk of bravery. What else do we have to talk about, Catherine?
asking him for more. And there is one blazing moment in which you finally understand that there was no dragon, that there was no Vader, that there was only you, only Anakin Skywalker, that was all you, is you, you did it. Dancing bears, painted wings, things I almost remember, and a song someone sings once upon a descent.
monster's gone. He's on the run, and your daddy's here. Beautiful, 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 beautiful boy. Funny how it changes, we ended up like strangers, and we burnt down. Why are you crying, Lane? Because you deleted yourself from everyone's memory? I'm getting older, I think I'm aging well I wish someone had told me I'd be doing this by myself There once was a lovely princess, the Emperor's only true offspring. Although the princess was not loved by her father, she had many people alongside her. Lily was one of them. One day she met by accident, on her ninth birthday, her father, the Emperor, outside of the palace. The Emperor who hadn't met her daughter even for one moment knew she was of royalty blood. By her jewel blue eyes, the Empress stared at her with cruelty and did not met her again for many years. When she was 14 at a ball, she discovered another child with jewel eyes. Her name was Jeanette. 
Jeanette at first had all the Emperor's attention to herself. Jeanette and the lovely princess became friends. One day, Jeanette was poisoned. They said the culprit was Athanasia. Soon after, Athanasia was killed. And then her second life begun, made by Leoilix.